Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to make a pot roast so tender, so buttery that you can cut this with a spoon. It's one of those dishes that tastes like your mama made it, which is why when I post it on my Instagram story, so many people were asking for the recipe. So here it is. I am starting out with a two and a half pound chuck pot roast because I want to eat on it for a few days. And I got one that's really fatty, really marbled, so it's gonna be really tender and really juicy. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is stab it a few times. I want all of my seasonings to really soak in there because this baby is thick. And now I'm going to season with a ton of salt. I know this looks like a lot of salt, but this is a thick girl. She's three inches thick, she's three pounds. And in goes a ton of pepper on the largest setting. I am so sorry this is out of focus, but I'm gonna show you in a second how much I have coated this. And now I'm just gonna season on all sides, making sure every single inch of this is covered. And this looks unconventional, but now I'm taking my ranch dip mix, which already has a ton of herbs and a ton of flavor. And I'm gonna coat my pot roast in this. This is gonna take the place of my flour, so it's really low carb and keto friendly. It's good for the soul, okay? And so I'm just gonna make sure this is fully coated and once I am finished manhandling this piece of meat, I am going to heat up a cast iron skillet with some oil and I am going to brown this on both sides. Not everyone does this, but I like to do it because it helps to get those flavors going and make them a little bit more rich. And while that is browning, I'm gonna chop up my vegetables, some onions, celery, and carrots. Very typical, mirepoix. And I'm gonna flip this over. Look at that. Mm, I love a good piece of meat. And so once that has browned, we can dump this into my slow cooker. I'm not gonna eat the celery and carrots. This is just for show, so I don't have that many. <gasps> And now I'm going to go in with my onion dip mix. This just has a lot of flavors already, a lot of oniony rich flavors that work really well with pot roast. And I'm also going to go in with a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, which adds some smoky and extra meatiness to this. Now the key to a really moist, really tender um, pot roast is the liquids. So I have some beef broth and I'm not going to completely submerge it But I want to make sure all of my sides are covered and I'm going to actually take half of this out later so it can thicken But before that I'm going to pour in some red wine Merlot or Pinot Noir works, but I just love Cabernet So it's what I have and don't worry this is going to cook out But if you're nervous about it, you can skip this step and of course I have some minced garlic. I ended up using like two or three tablespoons of that, which ended up being like four or five cloves. But the more garlic, the better. And now in goes my onion. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna pop this into my crock pot, cover it up, and I'm gonna cook it on low for, I actually ended up doing eight hours total. But I'm gonna start out with six and then drain my liquid and then pop it back in. In the meantime though, I'm gonna enjoy a bottle of wine. And after those six hours, I'm gonna drain about half of that liquid so it's not too, too loose once I plate it up. And now I'm just gonna cover this back up and let this finish cooking for the remaining two hours. And when I'm done, I'm gonna have this really tender piece of meat, y'all. A plastic spoon was able to cut this pot roast. It is so good, I, ugh, so tender. And as if this isn't buttery enough, I am going to top it with just a tablespoon or two of butter just to melt that in there. And now I can plate it up. I actually served this with some cauliflower mash because I want this to be, again, low carb, keto friendly, and ugh, life changing. I promise you, this tastes like your mom made it. In fact, I make this because I miss my mom's pot roast and it's not something that I make often. It's not something that I crave often, but when I do, I need it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, try it out. Let me know how you love it. Until then, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next time.